down Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope you take the time to hit that subscribe button. For today's look, I wanted to do something colorful and I did that using the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place as well as the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. So if you want to see what I did to create this look, then keep on watching. I'm going to do my eyes first, but before I get into the eyeshadows and all that fun stuff, I'm going to prep my skin partially, not all the way. So I'm going to start off by spraying my skin using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. That's always refreshing. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. One of the reasons why I'm priming my skin before, you know, eyeshadow is because this primer, even though I'm oily and this is a do me up, like a dewy prime, a do me up. For this primer in particular, it's like after you put it on and it sets, it leaves your skin like tacky a little bit. So your foundation sticks to the primer which you know causes a more flawless like foundation application so right now it's like really really smooth and then it's a little tacky i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and i'm going to use the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz in dark brown <clears throat> now i'm going to use the elf eyebrow palette and I'm going to use this powder on this side just to kind of give my brows a more natural look in the front. <coughs> I'm getting sick, y'all. I need some orange juice. Before I prime my eyelids, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Mm, a little tingle. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution London Concealer in the shade C12. To set that in place, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in the color Coconut. These shades, like this is some legit black girl magic because it is black owned. So, the palettes that I will be using today is going to be the Masquerade and the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. The first shade I'm going to go in with is going to be the shade Morocco and that's going to be my transition shade. And we're going to start that in there and just really build that up. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is going to be the shade Kenya and that's going to go right below my transition shade just to kind of deepen my crease. Now I'm going to cut my crease using the same concealer that I used to prime my eyelids, which is the Makeup Revolution London Concealer in C12. For the colors on the lid, I'm going to go in first with Molly. Ooh. Now, to really get the color to like pop on top of the concealer, you don't want to swipe it, but you want to like press it in and then kind of wipe it over. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is going to be Dahlia and it's going to go at the end of this color. The next shade is going to be Makita, which is this pretty purple. Yeah, 
I think I want the blue to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in with the color, I think it's Chi. And I'm just going right above that to kind of darken that color a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in with that purple shade, which is Makita, and just kind of blend out the lines to make it more seamless. A little bit. Just a little bit of love. A little bit. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to go back in with that first color, which is Molly, and just blend out the line where that meets that violet shade. Now I'm going to go back in with that dark brown, which is Kenya, just to kind of blend, smooth out that line. Now I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, for liner, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. For lashes, I will be wearing the Miss 3D Volume Lash in the style M358. Alrighty. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I already sprayed my skin and primed it. Now I'm going to go in with another primer and this is the Forsali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Serum. So because I have oily skin, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder in Medium Deep. And that's going to go on right before my foundation just to help me stay matte longer throughout the day. And I'm going in the areas where I like tend to get oily quick, which is the T-zone area. So my chin, my cheeks, this forehead of mine is usually the first to go. For foundation, I will be using the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, and this is in F13. Dang. I forgot to color correct first. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, I'm going to go in and color correct using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. And now I'm going to go over that with my um makeup forever foundation stick in 177 and go over that because i like to kind of tone the orange down because the orange will peek through To contour my face, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F15. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Caramel. To set my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder in Medium Deep. And we're going to set that all in place. Now to bronze and contour my face, I'm going to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And the two shades that I'm going to use is going to be the Contour and Sculpt shades. Now, to brush away the powder, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in Coconut. First, I'm going to go in with Kenya, which is the darker brown shade along the lower lash line. And I'm also going to go in with that transition shade Morocco to smoke that out. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with this NYX eyeliner in the color Aqua Green. But I'm just going to focus that more on the inner corner. Then for the rest of my waterline, I'm just going to go in with a black eyeliner. <laughs> for 
For my inner corner, I'm going to go in with the color Giza from the Masquerade palette. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that color too. Yeah. For blush, I'm going to use the Morphe Blush Trio. And this is in Pop of Coral. And the shades I'm going to be using is Boss and Fierce. Now for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina collaboration. And I will be using the Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. So to make that highlighter pop, I'm going to go in with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I don't know what the name of this is. I don't even I don't even want to get this wrong. I don't want to get this wrong. But it's the Rimmel London lip liner and the number on it is 045. But here's So the lippy I will be using is going to be the Matte Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics in Dirty Peach. And that is it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to like, comment, and the most important part is subscribe. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said before, DM me any looks that you want me to try. I'm up for the challenge and it's no biggie. So again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.